Guys, before we start today's video, I want you all to have a free chance to earn 13,500 V-Bucks. Me and a couple other YouTubers are doing a massive giveaway. All you guys have to do is give this video a thumbs up, go down in the link description, and sign up through there. It's very easy, you guys. It's basically like just subscribing to a channel or following somebody. And the more entries you have, the better chance you actually have of winning. So guys, go do that now. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Monster Brittany, guys. Another video, guys. In today's video, we're gonna cover week three challenges. As you guys can see, I have it complete already. Guys, this took me like an hour and 30 minutes. You guys can actually achieve all these challenges in, in under a day, which is very simple. I'll show you guys every technique on how I did it. And after we cover these challenges, I'm gonna show you guys my locker loadout because I know I've been slacking. I, I read the comments, I read every single comment, but I just keep forgetting to show you guys my locker loadout. So I'll show you guys that at the end of the video, but for now, Let's show you guys week three challenges. So number one is harvest building resources with the pickaxe. Guys, this is very simple. If, if you really wanna knock it out quick, go to Wailing Woods and just land away from the chests and stuff like that and just start beating on the trees. It takes probably, you can probably get it in one game depending on how quick and if you don't die or two games, as long as you land at Wailing Woods and get it or also you can just play the game out, just play it normally. And over time, harvesting building resources with a pickaxe will end up coming naturally, you guys. You don't have to really rush it as quick as you can. You can again, just do it naturally. But if you guys want to get all these challenges out the way and earn your full 4,000 XP as quick as you can just listen to the tips I give you guys in this video the next one is deal damage with a suppressed weapon to opponents now this one is a little difficult as long as you find a suppressed weapon just remember keep in mind do not use your shotgun and use your suppressed pistol it's it's very easy to do this all you got to do is just you get like five kills with it five or six kills using the suppressed weapon um the only thing is I suggest going for headshots you guys that's the best way to win gunfights using a suppressed weapon against a shotgun so aim up towards the head and just let it rip you guys it's very easy the suppressed weapons are actually really good in this game some machine guns are slept on but they're really good the next one is search chest in junk junction this one is actually a little difficult you guys you got to find seven different chests at junk junction it takes probably three to four tries depending on how many people land there with you um and as you guys can see in the background playing those are all the chest locations you guys can actually just watch the background learn the different chest locations so that way you guys when you land there you know where they are so you can land at that chest and try and get it as quick as you can and i want to give a suggestion I when I first got on the game I found three chests and then I quit I, instead of killing myself or dying I ended up just backing out of the game or quitting and it ended up not counting So I suggest if you find chests do not just leave match actually kill yourself or die or play the match out It's up to you, but it sucked man, but it's all right. There's all the chest locations Let's cover the next one land on different bullseyes This is one of the easiest ones you got to do it seven times So it does take seven different games in order for this to happen So if you want to do it quick land on the bullseye and kill yourself and do it it again or you can just land on a bullseye and play out the map and then land on another bullseye the next game every game just land at a different location it's up to you but my suggestion is if you land at that location try and get there before anyone else because sometimes there's stuff there so if you can try and get a weapon before all the other people landing at that location you can end up getting free kills as well so it's definitely a win-win now the first hard challenge of the week is follow the treasure map found in snobby shores guys i love these treasure map objectives it really gives character to the game it's not just playing the game you're actually doing a mission with Within the game on top of trying to survive which is it's awesome man it makes the game a lot of fun here's me and Bricky's reaction of finding it ourselves bro just look for this to, look for bring. this map oh I found it I found it I found it actually come to me I won't look at it until you bring it. You oh it's in between two hey. mountains oh the mountain with the trees I know which one that is um it's in between two trees and two mountains well you see the you know where these are you know where that is uh I think that's like right here maybe it's it, you think it's these two mountains shifting. Dude, I've seen. I know where those trees are. I think it's these oh, two I've mountains. I've seen them when I see them. And then there's trees right here, so I think it's right there. Let's go! Sweet man. It's right there, John. Sixty, seventy-five. Oh, I see it. I see it. Okay, so it's these two mountains. Is that it? So that means it's it? these no, two trees. Know, there's two trees right here. No, that's it. That's it. There's two trees right under my marker. You see the two trees? Okay, so it's over there. Yeah. All right, in between two Is trees. It these two trees right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's these two. Right here. The small ones, yeah. Sweet. I got it. <laughs> That's awesome. 
The next hard objective is crossbow elimination. This is probably gonna be the hardest thing to do. Even though you only have to get one, just using a crossbow is very difficult, as you guys know. On screen, you guys can see that I actually got hit markers from across the map. Um, it, it doesn't always one shot, even if you try and aim for the head. So I suggest playing in duos or something like that. And when you're in a duo match, have your friend knock somebody and then you finally eliminate them by using a crossbow. It's just somebody crawling, so it's a free kill. It's easy, and that's probably the best way to do it. With that being said, having crossbow elimination on week three challenges that means that the crossbow might be here to stay in the game forever if you guys don't know you can complete the challenges any time of the week so if we get to week 10 and people haven't finished week three challenges crossbow elimination is still going to be there which means in week 10 people can still use the crossbow so for all of season three crossbow or the crossbow is going to remain in the game that's what i think kind of sucks because i don't really care for the crossbow that much but it is what it is the next hard one is eliminate opponents in salty springs guys this one can be very difficult playing in the background right now i actually got two kills the magnum it's hard man it's, it's pretty hard if you don't land there early there's going to be a lot of people there so salty springs is packed right now it's going to be one of the hardest places to land right now just because there's so many people going there so i suggest getting there first landing as quick as you can getting a weapon and then just start killing people luckily it's only three people so it's easier but it is what it is and that's all of week three challenges like i said i completed it under an hour and 30 minutes it was very easy very quick um and guys subscribe if you want to see week four i'm probably going to be one of the first youtubers to complete all of the challenges and give you guys tips on how to do it as fast as you can so if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button all you guys that are og fans that have been here hit that like button man i want you guys to kill 250 likes on this video i know you guys can do it in my last two videos you guys killed 500 likes in under 24 hours which is insane so much love to you guys for being ogs out there now with that being said let's go to the locker this is what you guys wanted to see more all of my characters i don't have that many characters but i do have a pretty good amount of legendary characters starting off with the black knight then we got the crack shot then we got the cuddle team leader dark voyager havoc love ranger we have mission specialist mary Mur murder uh this guy's the gingerbread man uh a elite agent alpine ace the germany version wukong rex red knight moonwalker rust lord sparkle specialist sub commander blue squirrel or square i don't know how to say it and royal knight those are all the characters that i have now the backpacks that come with it are just your normal backpacks that you guys always see nothing special i don't really have anything special here um and then the axes i only bought this one the chomp jr i bought this one the rainbow smash and this one dragon axe guys with that being added up let's look at this these these legendary ones are 20 dollars, and then these ones are, i think 15 or 10 dollars. i think 15 and then these are 10 so basically i'm gonna do the math real quick that's one that i I bought two that I bought three that I bought four five six six that I bought that are twenty dollars that's a hundred and twenty dollars right there just off of that and then this we have one two the rest I usually got in the season pass um, so only two of them that are 15 so thirty dollars plus 120 that's already 150 dollars that we spent on character then we have the pickaxes this is 15 this is 15 that's 30 and then this is 10 I think so that's forty dollars and then the glider we have this one that was 20 so that's 40 50 60 dollars on top of that man so we've spent over 200 dollars on this game man which is insane man i've spent a lot of money and that's not including the dances that i bought i bought this dance i bought this dance uh i bought the dab i bought this flapper i bought flipping sexy and i and that's about it everything else came with the game um i think i bought this one face palm i bought finger guns i bought gun show and clap i bought slow clap and salute i think actually like salute came with it wave came with it and then of course the original dance came with it but guys that's all my inventory that's week three challenges again thank you guys so much for all the support you guys give me it means a lot we're on the road to 100k i think we can hit it this month but it's up to you guys it's not up to me i'm gonna grind out as much as i can but it's up to you guys to share the video and help get my channel out there but guys thank you so much for all the love and support it means the world to me i'm gonna bring you guys another video later today double upload get ready for it and i'll see you guys in that video peace